Hey YouTubers, and today we're going to be going into something a little bit different. This is going to be a little go through or review of the Gear Wrench catalog. This is the 2019 catalog. Uh, a lot of these products are recently released, soon to be released, or uh, a lot of the catalog is that are previously released. Been out a while, I mean. Uh, but today I'm going to focus on the newer products, either are about to be released or have just been released. Uh, obviously, the SEMA shows just, you know, went on, uh, and they're going to be releasing even more in 2020. But we're going to go through what they have here in the catalog right now, and then we'll do an updated video. To keep this short, I'm not going to be going through everything, just the newer products, and then in a future video, I'll do the rest. So if you guys are interested, also uh, a lot of these products I will link down in the description for you guys if you guys are interested. Um, now, I didn't link all of the products here because some of them I haven't used. Some of them seem overpriced. Uh, and I'm going to point out the ones that I think are a good deal and the ones I don't think are a good deal. So please let me know your guys' thoughts, and I really hope you guys enjoy. So as you can tell here, up at the top left, uh, we have a lot of the pinless universal impact sockets. They're called the X-Core. 30-degree uh, maximum operating angle. Rotation of 360 degrees, I would hope so. Um, and they have a few different sets here, 3 8 drives and half-inch drive sets. And obviously you can tell they vary in size. I tried to find the best possible prices for these, and, uh, you know, that, that ranges from eBay to Amazon to Tool uh, websites and everything. So I tried to find the best or average price of all of them. For the pinless universal sockets, uh, that's going to be roughly a hundred dollars to 175 and upwards of 225 depending on what site that you find them on and then below that you're going to see the new X core pinless impact universal joint extensions whether that be the drive attachments or you get the set in the middle the seven piece set 849 Eight zero the seven piece three eighths drive set and that's uh, all of these sockets that are built into the extension and that's going to range if you buy them separately fifteen to twenty five dollars upwards of thirty two dollars individually or you can get that seven piece set for around one hundred and forty dollars then the small set to the right which is not the sockets it's just the adapter. Uh, that's going to range around $60, so not terrible. Uh, so if you have a need for, you know, universal extensions that's, and impact grade, that seems like a pretty decent deal. Uh, moving back up to their slim head ratchets over here on the right, uh, this is going to be quarter-inch drives, and you can buy either the small or the large, or you can buy them in the set. The part number 81030, that's the longer ratchet. Uh, that's going to run around $30. And then the smaller one, for some reason, I think I found it for $35. Whereas the set itself is $65. So uh, you get all the sockets and the bits with it basically for free if you were going to buy just the two ratchets by themselves. So Not terrible, but not the best price. I think it is a pretty nice little kit, though. Then below it, you have the 120 XP. If you guys have watched my channel, you guys know I love the 120 XP stuff. Um, I've had really good luck with it. Uh, they've worked very well for me. I love the three degree arc swing, uh, the slim design, the dual pauls, really nice. Um, these are the extra long. So with them being the 120 XP, the set of the two is going to be around $60 or 25 to 65 per. So it all depends on the drive size. <clears throat> Moving on down. So I'm trying to move through this fairly quickly so the video isn't too long, but still, you know, give you guys some good information. So here they have the new 120 XP electronic torque wrenches with angle. So that's a nice uh, feature as well. And you guys know there's really not any cheap electronic torque wrenches out there, but these are priced pretty decently compared to some of the others. And they look to be a really nice design. Uh, haven't used them, but if I were to buy any electronic torque wrench, this is, is probably one of them that I would consider. 
The electronic quarter inch drive is around 270, the 3 inch drive 290, and for some reason I found the half inch drive for 250. So that's not bad at all for an electronic torque wrench with angle. And then below that, I'll give you guys the part number 85194 for the electronic one, quarter inch drive. 3 eighths is 85195 and half inch drive is 85196. So moving down to the uh, click style, which it says coming soon, but it's already released. Uh, this is not like this month's catalog. This is updated from, I think, April or somewhere around there. Uh, but a lot of this stuff wasn't out at the time and has just recently been released. So that's why I'm doing this now. Okay, so for the quarter inch drive, it's 85171. 3 eighths is 85176. And half inch drive is 85181. The prices for that is going to be 130 for both the quarter inch drive and 130 for the 3 inch drive. And then the half inch drive is going to be $180. So not terrible, priced pretty well. Um, and it's a nice click style as well. You don't have to turn the nut at the bottom or the screw at the bottom. Uh, it's just the simple pull tab and I like their design. It's also nice that it's 120 XP. So you got that really low arc swing. Okay, moving on to the lights, we're going to go ahead and move back up here on the right. The headband, the little portable swivel one that looks like the one I got from Napa for like 20 bucks. Uh, and the flashlights right here, those are going to range anywhere from 35 to 65. If you ask me, that's a little much for these uh, flashlights, in my personal opinion, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so moving on. These are the style that I actually use from work. A couple, a couple different companies use these, um, and it's the ultra thin flex head work light. They're really nice, very handy. I really like them, and those are going to range from, uh, I believe, 35 to 65 as well. The smaller one is going to be around 35, so not too bad of a price right there. That's one I would actually purchase. Now this area light over here on the left. Part number 83139, the 3000 lumen. This one I do believe is overpriced. That is $130 for that. Uh, personally, I just I don't think that is worth the $130. The reason I'm doing this video also is, and the reason I only linked certain products down in the description on Amazon is because there are so many different brands out there that are within similar quality it's really up to you to determine what features you're wanting and the best possible price you can find that tool for. So that's why not everything here is linked down in the description. So moving on is going to be the rolling stool with the inserts on the bottom that are magnetic. That's a nice little touch. Um, the rolling stool is going to range around $115. So that's fairly average for a rolling stool, a good rolling stool um, next to it. Let me give you the prop part number 86994. And then the, the standard like bar stool looking one, the shop stool 86992. That's priced pretty well as well, $55. I would purchase that. Uh, it doesn't have many reviews, I don't believe, when I looked, but the reviews it did have were good reviews. Below that is going to be the Mechanics Creeper. And this one isn't priced too bad especially if you're looking for a good creeper. I've bought a couple cheaper ones and we're not pleased with it. So when I do buy a, a creeper, I'm going to be spending a little bit more money. This one's going to be ranging around $130. So here's some of the information. It's got nice back padding, head padding, uh, compartments, magnetic uh, locations. And then over on the side here, I didn't get the information on the Bluetooth speaker. I mean, you can get those from anybody and everywhere. The tool storage tray at the bottom right, that is going to be $18. So I think that's a really nice price. It's 11 inches by 16 inches, so it would fit my top small drawer. 
uh, as long as the height, that's something that I would want to know is the height on this organizer. The socket rails above it are going to range about $20 a piece. And then the kneeling pad with compartments is going to range $28. So not bad. Uh, really, if you're not in a shop and you're you know using jacks and jack stands a lot, not only is a creeper your best friend, but so is a kneeling pad because that can take a toll on you. So moving along. Here you have their new wrench organizers, which I kind of like the design and the color combination and everything makes it easy uh, to notice when a wrench is missing or anything like that. And they're actually priced really well, 12 to $20, depending on the size uh, that you get. They have, I believe, two different sizes, a 12 piece, yeah, or a 13 piece and a 16 piece set. Below that, you see their socket organizers. You've seen this from many other brands, but once again, it's priced really well as well. Um, $20 for a set of three trays. That's quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch drive. Below that, this is a plier organizer that I will probably end up picking up here soon because it's nice. I like the color combination once again, and it's only $18. So, and Then getting into the last few products of their new releases, are their tool carts. Now these are things I truly believe to be overpriced, especially when you know other brands out there that uh, are of the same quality or possibly even better quality as far as toolboxes and tool carts and stuff. Uh, the four drawer cart here on the left is part number 83168. And that's going to range around $750. That's a little much if you ask me. The two drawer over here on the right, 83167, that's going to be $400, $500, depending on where you find it. And then down here below, you have this mobile workstation, and that's going to range $900 to $1,500. Don't get me wrong, this is a nice looking little cart and everything, but that's a little much for that size. So please let me know your guys' thoughts on these new products, and I will be doing a video later on on the new tool or the tools here throughout the rest of the catalog and everything so please let me know your guys thoughts on this video and i really hope you guys enjoyed let me know your thoughts once again and uh see you guys in the next one if you guys have any other sites or tool catalogs you would like reviewed please let me know and i'd be happy to make them see you guys in the next one if you guys haven't please hit that thumbs up leave a comment down below and as always subscribe if you're not